The anti-vaccination lobby has misread the evidence and I find that a lot of people who are anti-vaccination aren't aware of where the anti-vaccination movement started and it started with a doctor who falsified a study, um, a, a small case series of 12 children. He falsified the evidence in that study and he's subsequently been deregistered. He's not allowed to practice. And it coincided with the rise in use of the internet and the evolution of social media um, and some very prominent celebrity um, anti-vaxxers and it's almost been a perfect storm I think for the anti-vaccination movement. We live in a world where there's information overload and the problem is that there's no filters to this information and I think when making a decision like whether or whether you don't vaccinate your child you need to speak to somebody who is educated and, and knows what they're talking about and I would suggest the GP is probably the best person to do that with you that people choose not to immunise their children because they're scared. I think that they're worried about my, what, what might happen to their child. I think they're worried um, that they're doing the wrong thing. Um, and I also think that they might not be fully informed around what immunisation risks are out there and what the benefits actually are. Vaccines are an incredibly effective way of stopping people get sick. Um, and they're simple, they're straightforward, they work. Every parent, just like you, is trying to do the best thing for their child. But I know, as a doctor, that the evidence is very clear that immunisations protect against some dangerous diseases and they're very safe. Do you understand that you, you might be struggling with this? And um, I'm here to tell you that it is the best choice.